all right so T helper 0 going to T helper 1 and T helper 2 chemical reaction cytotoxic reaction um, then we also have the T helper we talked about it T helper regulatory cells T reg. So T reg cells their function is to actually dampen the immune response. So normally they come near the end of the immune response where there are a lot of T cells which have been produced. Now remember one thing as opposed as compared to B cell T cell has a more difficult problem a B cell can sit in a lymph node and continuously make immunoglobulins to send them out to fight with the extracellular pathogens. A T cell cannot just go and take care of all the cells which are infected. So normally a T cell makes a great number of replicas, B cell make the replicas as well that is why we receive we get this pain in our lymph nodes when T cells or B cells are replicating or both are replicating. But B cell has a bigger problem one B cell can only handle so much. So we have to create a lot of T cells which would be then going and attacking the cells which need which are infected. At the end of the day once we have cleared out the, the infection those T cells which are now sitting out there which are cytotoxic which are angry which are primed which are active what do we do with them? We need to take care of them we need to stop them we need to finish them. So what happens is that these regulatory cells these are also helper T cells they are going to help the immune system as well and what they do is they start damping the activity of these T cells. And you would also see that there is another uh, process the LFA1 or um, LFA uh, sorry fast fast ligand interactions also cause apoptosis in the T cells and that is how the T cell um, number is reduced. So again that is reduced to dampen the immune reaction always remember we should be able to mount a reaction and we should be able to unmount a reaction. So we should be able to amplify a reaction and we should be able to deamplify the re reaction or reduce the reaction. So these T regulatory cells are very important to deamplify the reaction to reduce the reaction. So that is the case with them. Then we have T helper 17. T helper 17 so far are still under studies and they say that they are pro-inflammatory cells. So that means they help the inflammation process. So they are the one which cause the neutrophils to come into the, uh, the tissue and then do the inflammation in that area. So now, nowadays the research is very intense on the role of T helper cells in autoimmune diseases where neutrophils are incorrectly um, reacting to some body tissue which is not infected or which does not have any pathology in it. So again that these are the T helper cells and then if I say the uh, memory cells all of these T cells can be converted into memory cells. So that would be the memory cells. So all right so we have talked about the T helper cells now we would talk about very quickly the cytotoxic cells and all I would say is that the cytotoxic cells we have so T cells here, here T helper cell cytotoxic cell we have talked about them previously cytotoxic T cells in our in our innate immunology lectures their basic function is that they directly kill the cells which are infected. So remember that the cytotoxic T cells we will talk more in detail in these lectures but generally cytotoxic T cells what they do is they would be connecting so let us say this is a cytotoxic T cell. So this cytotoxic T cell is going to be connecting with an infected cell so let us say this is an infected cell. So this is really sort of infected cell there are pathogens in it remember that this infected cell cannot create proteins which are on the outer surface of that protein and uh, when this cytotoxic T cell cannot feel those protein on the surface it knows that this cell is sick and what it does is it, it would attack it by granzymes and perforins, granzymes and perforins which will then kill this cell. 
so that is a function of the cytotoxic T cell. It also it also works through fast fast ligands and so on. We'll talk, but the end result is that a cytotoxic T cell would attack a cell which is infected. So it takes care of the intracellular pathogenicity, intracellular problems. So cytotoxic T cells, and then uh, we have uh, natural killer cells. We've talked about it in the past and then gamma delta cells there are, these are new. So this is really the bigger picture of the T cells. We will now go in detail for every single cell and we will discuss how it does what it does but this is the bigger picture. Thank you very much.